All right, Alona and Mason. Mason, Escape Games Global. We're doing a review here at. N what is with you in this? I night? just tried to cut your hand. We're doing a review of Nightmare of the Tourist Street, which is at Legends of Escape in West Palm Beach. Right. It is actually. Correct. After three times. You shush! Yes. Ah, so anyway, we uh, yeah, this no, you need no. you need to just chill out with the. I'm never doing a room with you where it has weapons in it again. It's not going to happen. At least, seriously, not real ones. Anyway, this room is designed for children. It's um big children like me. <laughs> no, it's actually designed for small toddlers. Um, it's kind of like IKEA. When you go to IKEA, you want to do the furniture shopping and leave the kids behind. This is where you do it. This is where you do it. Now, actually, it's a, it's a horror-themed game, as you might have been able to tell. These are body bags with, they're not real bodies, in case you're getting a little scared. Um, a little scared? You like that? Yeah. Why do you do this? Anyway. Try the knife. The story goes, Ivan the Butcher, my nose is really messing up. Like, okay, you're doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan the Butcher has came along and he's a bad dude. He does not spoon, he does not hug, he kills people wantonly. He writes weird little messages about jazz bands and stuff like that. He's a bad dude, he's not gonna be here, we've gotta steal his mask, once you steal his mask, his power goes away and he can't kill people anymore. Not really sure how that works. Uh, he's probably got some kind of complex where he just, he, he doesn't feel as confident, and murdering is apparently a very confident and inspiring thing, so... I think we need to tell, we dream for this room, maybe three weeks. That's true, yes. We The first time we came here, they showed us around this place, and we're like, we're coming back specifically for this room, and we... So... Dream coming true! Dream coming true! So, anyways, uh, what did you feel about the setting? Uh, uh, that's what she does when she's having a really good time. <laughs> The setting's fantastic. This is one of the rooms. I can't say how many rooms there are, but this is one of them. Not the first one. Um, fantastic room. They, they set it up very, very good. Uh, everything's kind of spooky, kind of scary. They really work with some of the haunting uh, mechanics that you've seen. Um, fantastic. Every single room puts you into that immersion. Every single room, more so than most any place we've ever seen before. And it, it just flows very well. The puzzles definitely go along with the good, setting. So, good, good, good. how did you feel about the puzzles, though? Really good. Yeah. Really good. Really understandable. Like for two people, it's alright. When it's a big group, it's alright because they will be have fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, we good we. Job. It flows pretty well. Um, we actually. Yeah, we pretty much kind of escaped. Yeah, they kind of cheated on us. He gave us a minute or two. Not a minute or two. We're gonna say we escape because that's how we roll. And if you have a problem with it, that's right. She's got not to move the thing. Anyways, um, puzzles were awesome. There's a, it's really, really good flow. They're not super duper hard. I mean, we had a pretty good time with it. Like one more person and we would have definitely, definitely got out with about probably five minutes left. Um, so it's it's a good, it definitely could be done with two people, um, more competent than she and I. And we, um, but you can definitely do it with four to six people. Fantastic. If at anything, you don't even have to do the puzzles. You can just gawk like a like a moron in all the cool scenery and just be like, it's worth my 30 bucks or however much it costs. Um, but the puzzles themselves, they went really well. They flowed very well. They very, very, very much fit with the scenery. Um, Everything what I like a lot. She, I'm pretty sure that the, the reset on this room is going to include cleaning up some urination from you getting scared in the other room. <laughs> she screamed like, that was awesome. And it didn't, she even knew it was there eventually. And she screamed again. I didn't know. Whatever. And you screamed I... the first time and then the second time too. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen. We have a recording of this. Okay, yeah. We're yeah. going to see that. I want to see it too. Okay. I want to post it on your Facebook. <laughs> All right. I'll do it. 
Overall fun factor, what did you think? About what, the place? Yeah, I just had dreams this place for three weeks, so of course I had fun. I had a blast. The staff of this place, super awesome. They're really, really cool. Um, really hoping that they have time tonight off so we can go have a drink with them. Yeah, that's not too so. But nonetheless, uh, we had a fantastic time. We will tell everybody Come that so far here. as I've seen so far in West Palm Beach, this is the room to be. So, okay. and I've not said that about anything that we've done, have I? Uh, no. No, this is the room to be over here in West Palm Beach. So, number. And I would love to be invited to the room that could be. So, nonetheless, Alona? Mason? Yeah!